Can I become a product manager after an MIS degree? Can I go into consulting? Will I be able to crack the interviews at top consulting firms like BCG, McKinsey, etc.? Here is the video where we will unravel everything there is to know about the management information systems. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to another series, this time on the management information systems. My name is Suraj, I'm one of the co-founders here at Gradvine and today we will unravel everything there is to know about MIS, MISM, MSIM, a bunch of different names all in the same spirit of the degree. By the way, if you haven't watched our previous series on the masters in data science, we will link it above, make sure to check that out. I break down what the data science degrees are and what sort of careers are possible along with giving you five or six of the best possible data science degrees that you can get into. In this video, we'll follow a similar format. I will break down what the information systems degree is, what is the difference between an MIS degree and a computer science degree, go into the nitty gritties of what careers are possible, and then in part two of the video, break down five of the best information systems degrees that you can apply to as an Indian undergraduate student. Okay, so let's first try and understand what the information systems degree itself is. It's sort of a bridge between technology and business along with an intermix of people or helping identify what business problems technology can solve and who is the right person to solve those problems. So in short, a really good intermix of tech, people and businesses. That's what the information systems degree is all about. Now, what is the big difference between an information systems degree and a computer science degree? Let's get into that. The MIS degree and computer science degrees might have very similar coursework, but the end objective is vastly different. With an MIS degree, students learn the basics of business processes, leadership, databases, but from a business perspective, how do you set up information systems and all of that. On the other hand, computer science graduates, computer science students usually get into the nitty gritties of systems, yes, but not so much the business processes as much as MIS student will do. A computer science student usually concentrates on operating systems, the design of information structures, etc. Whereas an information systems student sort of concentrates on the business processes that can take advantage of the technology that's available. Computer science guys also tend to concentrate a little more on the programming, the hardware and software systems. Whereas the information guys tend to focus more on the business problems that are there and try to solve them using technological tools. Who should apply to the information systems degree? Anybody who has a quantitative undergraduate background, good academic standing of at least the 3.2 above on a scale of four, has some relevant work experience in either the business analysis, the software development, or in general, anything related to the information technology sector. Someone who might or might not have a computer science undergrad. It is not necessary for a student applying to an information systems degree to have a computer science degree. And that's one of the key points that you should absolutely keep in mind. Even if you don't have a computer science undergrad, you are still eligible. In fact, that is the kind of student that an information systems degree is essentially looking for. So if you satisfy these criteria and you want to go ahead and work with business processes involving technology, then the information systems degree is the right fit for you. What does the coursework involve then? The general coursework of an MIS degree can essentially be divided into two big halves. One is general education on business, which could include courses like macroeconomics, leadership strategy, systems design, etc and then the technical parts of it, which could include information theory, um, you could get into systems design, business process design, of course, data analytics, data science, etc., along with a little bit of database management systems and of object-oriented programming. So those are the two halves that are there within the coursework. Most universities also offer specializations depending on the niche that you want to fill in that is dependent highly on the university that you're going to be applying to. At the start of the video, we talked about a few existential questions. These are questions like, hey, can I make it to a product manager role after an information systems degree? Can I break into consulting? So the answers to all of those are a yes. Again, it depends, of course, on how you structure the degree itself, how you structure the courses that you take, what sort of electives and specializations you're able to take up. But yes, there is an absolute path towards five 
sort of careers in general. One is consulting, management consulting, including the likes of Bain, BCG, McKinsey, etc. Second, and the biggest sector that a lot of students after graduating from an information systems go to is the technology sector. Uh, companies like Accenture, KPMG, Wipro, Deloitte, and a bunch of other technology analyst positions usually open up after an MIS. Banking and finance, again, becomes another big industry where a lot of IS graduates usually gravitate towards and then a couple of other sort of sectors smaller but still predominant are going to be places like retail um, data data analytics sort of companies and of course product management as well those are the different sectors that you can aim to get into after an information systems degree um, median salaries usually range from anywhere from 90,000 US dollars all the way up to 150,000 US dollars. Depends highly on the sector that you are getting into and the kinds of roles you are getting into, but you can expect a high pay after a master's in information systems. This was everything you need to know about the degree itself. Are you confused about which universities to apply to? Are you looking at the best or the top five or six places? then stay tuned, I'm gonna cover the top five MIS universities in the next video, which is going to be the part two. Before we break into part two for the top five MIS degrees, let me give you a little bit of a statistic about Gradvine. Over the last seven years, we've had every single one of the top five universities for the information systems degree. We've had hundreds, if not thousands of students make it to every single one of the top five, including places that are in the top five universities of the world. If you are looking to get personalized guidance in your own master's journey, make sure to get a free consultation with us where we will break down your profile, try and identify the right fit in terms of the course and the universities, and then give you a lot of advice for free. Of course, we have paid services that we take up when we are working on your behalf, but I assure you all the advice is gonna be absolutely free of charge. Schedule your free consultation now and I will talk to you soon. Stay tuned and take care.